Sunod namang humarap sa panelist si Andre. This is a, a necklace my, my mother gave to me when I was around 12 years old. And she told me, wear it when you feel responsible and you know you won't lose it. So I kept it in the treasure chest and hid it. Never used it until just in the beginning of 20 years old when I was going to Japan. And I wore this necklace in Japan every day to remind me of my mother. Are you ready? I'm ready, Pokuya. Andre, you've met every single person in Lu's family, right? In who's? Lu's family. family. Yes, I have. Her mom, her dad, her two sisters. My question for you, what are their full names? Like all of their family members who you've, who you've met? Trying to recall the names means, okay, I'll be genuinely honest. I am bad with names. And I'm not gonna try to attempt this one because I know that I'm not confident with my memory of everybody's names. No, when you've met the language, person, you've talked to the person, you've made a connection. They know your name's Andre. You just disregard that. And it's disrespectful, even to the person who apparently you have feelings for. Andre, why do you sugarcoat what you say? So much that it confuses the others, leads them to misinterpretation, and tends to make them suffer and go through depression, just like me who misunderstood your statement that just know that is mutual understanding. I do not mean it in a way to make that person sad or confused. In regards to me and you, I did make it a point that this is, we have to make the right decision. Any dis she mentioned to me that she loves her boyfriend. She's been in a relationship with him for three yeah, yeah, years. Yeah, but no, no, wait, listen. Prior to that, you confused us and kind of led her on and made her think you liked her. No. No, you confused us. You cannot deny that about yourself. You confused us by the manner of your speech. Right. And it had dire consequences for Abby. Sometimes with certain topics, you know, life in here is totally different than the outside. You know, you gotta, it's, it's different here. So I don't mean to make anybody depressed by the things I say by sugarcoating. It's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be a genuine person and be honest. But at the same time, you know, life in here is different. If I made you depressed in any way, I am honestly, from the bottom of my heart, apologetic, I am sorry. I did not mean to make you depressed. Do you remember the night when you told Tori that I restricted you from telling Lou that you like her? Whenever it came to any sort of flirting contact or anything like that, the look that you would give, the I see you, the the jealousy look. It did make me double think about everything I've done. The and looks then you're that telling you Tori that I put you in a box. Mo me and but you we both, both know, the know that, that I distanced myself from you. They all know, mm. all the housemates know that I distanced myself from you. Then you're telling Tori and dragging my name down. Why did you ignore me for the past two days after me and Lou, after the party we had? Me and because Lou were just I want, fun. I know, I knew that Lou likes you, and I okay. want both of you to be happy. Okay. But what are you telling Tori that I put you in a box? But then why would you because hit the table I felt angry? Jealous? Why would you get angry and walk out, storm out when me and Lou are just having what? a simple conversation? I never did that. Everybody told me that. And I then that makes me feel that makes me feel like I'm in a box that I can't act anything openly. Hmm. We all know it's the truth. What's the real relationship between you and Lou? I genuinely like Lou as a person. She is very special and I care about her meeting her family. I know she has good upbringing, good morals. That was the real status. status. That's the real status. As of right now, the status of me and Lou is mutual understanding. Pero kasi, we're waiting on the question oh. for Labas. So you're not yet couple? We're not yet a couple, no. Mutual understanding, the same thing you told Abby, right? Yeah. See, I don't... That, that's total different. It's a huge different thing. Huge difference. You told Abby you still understand. By me, I don't 100% recall saying that. I guess it was a night that we were drunk. I believe. Sinabi mo yan kay Abby and sinabi mo yan ngayon. I honestly 
telling Abby mutual understanding is a bit of a surprise to me. I don't recall it, to be he honest. He doesn't remember Dao telling Abby. I'm assuming that you guys have seen. So it's something that I can't deny. So hindi mo rin, so hindi mo rin maalala yung I do remember kissing Lou. You do remember? Did you remember? Yes, of course I remember kissing Lou. I don't remember the whole night. I do remember that me and Lou did kiss, but the extent of the kissing is what I don't remember. Is that uh, what we call selective memory? Selective memory. I know I did kiss Lou. The question is, so with all the stuff with uh, Lou and all the not remember things, are you just using Lou to stay inside the house? Harap ni Andre sa mga ex housemates at house challengers. So my next question is: So with all the stuff with uh, Lou and all the not remember things, are you just using Lou to stay inside the house? Absolutely not. No matter what you guys say in that sense, that is not how it is. I care with Lou 100% honestly, and the feelings I have for Lou are genuine. So no matter what you guys say in that sense, it's not true. You're not couple yet, right? Okay. I'm okay. waiting because I care. Waiting, but you're doing something because right. of the thing. Just re I realize that now. We need no. to take a step back. Where's the respect there? Me and Lou, we like each other a lot. Making the limit to things is a difficulty. I admit that, yeah. To the point of offending the other housemates when you, when you put your faces up together. When you kissed Lou and it clearly, you remember that. Bro, we had tequila in our blood. When me and Lou are on a flamingo looking at each other in the eyes and we both really like each other and we have tequila in our blood, of course, lips are gonna come together. I, I failed in how much I drank, my judgment of how much I drank. I am responsible for everything I do. Even before you were drunk? Even after, even when you weren't drunk, you yeah, keep even doing after it. You, you weren't drunk. That's true. I have failed to make my limits with Lou. You failed, you failed so many times. You okay. failed to realize, you failed now with making the distance. You failed so many times, how can you say you're still deserving? I'm here fighting for a dream, and to dream big. So that's what me moving out here to the Philippines is. That's what I want to show to the Philippines. Yes. If you had to pick between your relationship, with, you can only have one. Relationship with Lou or being the big winner, which would you pick? You can only These pick questions one are amazing. from Kit. Button's right there. You can only pick one. Pick between my relationship with Lou. Like if I choose the other, then me and Lou's You can't have the other one. Yeah. One of the reasons why I'm here. So you pick being the big winner. Fight to the very end. Over your relationship with Lou. And I would want her to pick the same. See, I would want her to make the same decision because I wouldn't want her to give me the big winner because of our relationship. She didn't know me before, before coming here. Her reasons for coming here. I want her to follow that. So I put myself in the other person's shoes. I would want them to make the same decision. These are amazing accusations. Gosh. I still love you guys, every one of you. I do. I know, I know that this is just as hard for them to say to me. Um, it's not easy for them, even though it may seem like they're all against me. I know deep down that, you know, I love them with all my heart. I was able to take it in in a way where I can learn from this. I knew deep down I wasn't angry at them. 